for this demo, uh, I'll be showing how to generate a purchase credit memo. And um, so we'll go ahead and assume that we have an invoice, a purchase invoice that's already been approved and we've already posted it. And so we don't want to pay it because maybe there's um, uh, a fault in what we received or something we returned or we um, had an agreement that we would not pay it. And so we can start by going to uh, purchase credit memos on the purchasing tab. From here, we can just create a new one. And for the sake of this demo, um, uh, I already know the invoice. We're going to head and um, apply this credit memo to. So you can start by selecting the vendor. Show this here. And so there are two ways to, um, to fill in the lines here. I'm going to show the way that I think is the most efficient, which is going to process and copying documents. And so this will allow you to search for a document and copy it straight to the lines. So we'll go ahead and pick posted invoice. And for the document number, it'll pull up a screen where we can search our invoices. So I'll filter our vendor and the invoice I want to apply this memo to is invoice 107.209 for $200. And I'll go ahead and click OK and OK. So what that did here is uh, apply that document to the lines. And on top of that, let's see here. It also went ahead and applied the credit memo to that document down here. And so now that's there, um, we can send this credit memo to the, to the vendor. And if everything is agreed and they have a credit memo for us, we can enter it here. I'll go ahead and put purchase credit memo 001. And for our posting, we are required to add tax area code. So I'll go ahead and add that here. And once, once that's done, we can go ahead and finish this by posting. And we can go ahead and go to the purchase credit memo. And this is what the posted credit memo will look like. And if we wanted to see the effect of this credit memo, we can go ahead and look for the invoice that it was applied to. So we'll go ahead and search for the vendor. And we have Fabricam and we can go to the posted invoices. And as you can see, this invoice for 200, 107, 209 no longer has a remaining amount.